Hi guys, it's Bree and welcome to my channel, Just Breezy, where we upload weekly content to share resources, help spread awareness, and tell some of life's stories. And if you're not a subscriber yet, I'd love for you to consider being one. Just be sure you hit that bell for notifications because I don't want you to miss a thing. Guys, let's face it, life isn't always just breezy, but together it can be a little easier. Now Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And when I think about the day, I often think about watching the Macy's Day Parade, eating myself into a food-induced coma, and being around the table with the ones that I love. But for some people, especially some that have autism spectrum disorder and those that struggle with social anxiety, big family gatherings like Thanksgiving dinner can pose a challenge. So here's some things for you to keep in mind to hopefully make the day a bit more successful. It's all about the prep. Would your child benefit from a visual or written schedule of the day? Something that shows them the expectations when they go to grandma's or Aunt Kathy's for Thanksgiving might help with the flow. Part of this prep is going to be packing your bag of tricks, a favorite toy, a game, an iPod filled with music, something your child can go to when the stressors are high. Consider calling ahead, whether it's to a relative or a family friend. Ask if there's a spare bedroom or a quiet place within the home so that you or your child can retreat there if the action of the day is getting too overwhelming. Also inquire about seating. If your child still needs your assistance but would like to sit at the kids table, be sure that you're seated at the end of your table so you have easy access without climbing over Uncle Joe in the process. This will also provide you with a quicker exit if needed. Have your exit plan in place. Hey listen, not everyone can hang for the duration of the festivities. And if you or your child need to make a quick exit, feel free to do so. But if you have other children that are attending Thanksgiving with you, consider talking to a family member ahead of time and make a plan that if you need to leave, they can bring your children home so they can enjoy the rest of the holiday with their friends and family. Guys, I hope some of these tips will make the day just a little easier for you and your child. Planning is going to be key, but also remember to treat yourself with kindness on the big day and do what it is you can do to make the day as successful and enjoyable as possible. If you have a tip that's worked for you and your family, please feel free to leave that in the comment section below so that others can learn from your experiences. As always, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Consider subscribing and have a wonderful Thanksgiving.